us tend to spend a lot of money on home entertainment, whether it's for gaming, watching movies and TV shows, listening to music, whatever is your jam. I mean, it's human to be irrational sometimes about spending money, but in this specific segment it is fairly easy to justify the expense, since it is for things that help you relax and enjoy after a long and hard day. And while you're at it, why not do it in style, right? And a large screen. Big TVs are gaining in popularity, and most of us who are in the market for a new one will probably choose a 55 or 65 inch one, if it fits the bill. But there is another big screen which is rarely considered and may be a valid alternative. We are of course talking about projectors which can offer much larger picture, way over 100 inches, and therefore an experience that would cost you an arm and a leg if you were to buy a similarly sized TV. It's practically a movie theater a whole family can visit every day and at any time you want. This time we have received a projector which adds an extra dimension to this whole thing. It is the BenQ TH585 which is classified as a home entertainment model, but the manufacturer recommends it as an ideal gaming projector. Sounds interesting, so we had to see what TH585 has to offer at about $550 or 600 euros, which are the recommended retail prices. On the outside there is not much that separates this model from so many others on the market. A standard format and dimensions along with a white color make it look like your usual projector. BenQ did try to add some style with a pattern on the top side and a golden ring around the lens, but that's about it. Top surface also houses the control keys which allow you to perform pretty much all the necessary operations if you're using a projector on the desk, but if you decide to mount it on the ceiling there is also a small and practical remote with large number of keys that give you a full control over the projector. On the top you will also find zoom and focus wheels which along with projector's position and distance from the projection surface will let you get the desired image size. Geometry correction is there in the form of a vertical keystone, so we can project at an upward or downward angle, but we were unable to find the horizontal keystone which means that it will be necessary to place the projector parallel to the projection surface. The front and left corners as well as the right side of the device are covered in vent openings behind which there are two fans, one on each side. The projector dissipates a respectable amount of heat which is always present whenever there is a strong light source. Fortunately noise level is acceptable and does not pose a problem unless you're standing right next to the projector while it is in use. On the bottom side there are three height adjustable feet, two in the back and one in the front, which let you set the vertical projection angle and two holes for mounting the projector on the ceiling. The connectors as usual are on the back. There are two HDMI's, one of which also supports MHL for connecting mobile devices. There are also two archaic D sub ports, one for input and one for output, which allow you to connect an older PC and the monitor at the same time. Additionally, there are 3.5mm audio inputs and outputs, and the USB, which unfortunately cannot be used for multimedia playback. A real shame since there's no Wi Fi either, so you need to connect something via cable in order to use the projector. BenQ did anticipate users connecting Chromecast and other streaming devices, so the USB is there solely in order to provide power for those. Finally, there's an RS-232 serial port used for automated control signaling. The BenQ TH585 is capable of projecting an image the size of up to 7.62 meters or 300 inches, which is impressively large. There's a catch though, since to get this big of an image, the projector needs to be almost 10 meters away from the projection surface, so most users will probably settle for something smaller. For example, 100 inch projection requires about 3.32 meters of distance, which is available in most rooms. Suffice to say that watching movies and gaming on such big screen is an amazing experience. Size matters and with an image that is bigger than you, you do get that next level immersion which is beyond TVs and monitors, like you're inside the movie or a game. Gaming, especially on consoles or at least by using a gamepad since mouse and keyboard are not very practical in this case, is something that BenQ has dedicated extra attention to and that sets this model apart from the others. In order to get a good gaming experience, a big display is not enough, but also input lag needs to be kept low, something that is usually the last thing that projector manufacturers would be concerned about. TH585 lets you activate the dedicated game mode, which reduces input lag from about 49 milliseconds to only 16.3, low enough to allow for quick reactions in game and at a level offered by better current generation TVs. Unlike 4K TVs though, the resolution offered by this projector is Full HD or 1920 by 1080 pixels, which may not seem like much compared to the big screen TVs or 27 plus inch monitors. Thing is, while on LCD screens with big panels and lower resolutions you're able to see individual pixels, which admittedly does not look nice, with the projector those pixels are not visible due to light scattering on the projection surface, so the overall result is much more acceptable. Kind of like what we had on CRT panels which also displayed lower resolutions just fine, for the same reasons. 
BenQ TH585 is based on DLP projection technology, which uses a color wheel and displays red, green and blue components sequentially, combining them on the projection surface. On some previous DLP models, this method has shown tendency to exhibit rainbow artifacts when you shift your focus and look at a different point or move your head quickly. Good news is that with this model, this was very minimal and we rarely ever noticed it. The projection lamp on this model offers a maximum brightness of 3500 lumens, which is important since we often end up using the projector in less than ideal conditions. Therefore, TH585 does just fine in a living room which is not completely dark, or even rooms just slightly dimmer than normal daylight. Life expectancy for the lamp is rated at 4000 hours in normal mode and up to 15000 hours in lamp save mode, which translates to about 3.5 to 13 years of life with an average use of 3 hours per day, without the need for lamp replacement. As for the display quality, this model has 10 bits per color channel and a decent color accuracy for a projector with a delta E deviation of 6.7. What you'll end up seeing will depend on the surface you're projecting on, but the menu offers the surface color adjustment so that the display would be correct, even if you're projecting on a yellowish or some other non-white wall. At a distance of about 1.5 meters, we have measured the maximum brightness of 8500 nits, which is quite bright, but the black level and contrast also depend on how dark your room is. And we must say, if it is not ideally dark, contrast will likely be a lot less than offered by an average TV or a monitor. TH585 also supports nowadays almost forgotten 3D display, for which you will need optional active 3D glasses, but it's nice that the option is there, since there are still numerous 3D movies and games that support this. Interestingly, when using 3D, the projector refreshes at 144Hz, while in 2D mode it is limited to only 60Hz. Since projectors operate similarly to old CRT TVs and monitors, what we call response time or pixel persistence in case of LCD monitors is extremely low in this case, so it's a shame that 144Hz refresh is not available in 2D mode as well, since in that case the projector would probably be the fastest gaming display you could find. But that's something to hope for for some future models, perhaps the H685, which refreshes at 120Hz. We should mention the sound, which is by far the weakest point of this model, and can barely get a passing rate. It's rated at 10 watts, but feels like it's nowhere near that. Plus, if you turn it up past halfway, it introduces some really nasty distortion and compression. Since an average laptop is usually louder and sounds better, we see no reason to use this unless you really have no other option. Get an external sound unit and let the projector do what it does well. All in all, BenQ TH585 is definitely an interesting alternative to a large screen TV, especially when it comes to gaming. At a price similar to an average 55-inch 4K TV, you get to practically use an entire wall as a display, depending on the space of course, a very decent image quality, low input lag and 3D capabilities if you ever choose to use them. We had a lot of fun testing this unit and if it came with 3D glasses included, we would have a hard time parting with the projector. So how did you like the BenQ TH585? Let us know in the comments, as well as have you ever used the projector, how did you like the experience, can it replace the TV and what are some pros and cons. That'll be all for this review, keep watching Bench House, my name is Ivan and I'll see you next time.